Praise the Lord, good night, greetings. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of the situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, Jesus. Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promise to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwelling. Welcome to tonight. Let's give a big hand. Welcome to my God bless you richly, sincerely from my heart. Once again, I release a blessing upon your life, life this Tuesday night. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. I pray that God will bless your homes, God will bless your marriage, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, God will bless your business, God will bless you on the job and give your promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus let's give a big hand to you yes my friends tonight i cover everyone under the blood of jesus and i build a hedge around your life for the blood of jesus Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, every spirit of witchcraft, oh, be it demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether for or second, third, or fourth uh, generational curse. Uh, I destroy under the precious blood. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter. I break every evil and every work of darkness uh, against your life. Uh, for whom the Son is, is set free is free indeed. You are free tonight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you are free in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Uh, yes, my friends. Uh, Jesus also said in his words, healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus name. Let's give him a hand tonight, hallelujah, yes my friends. But let's not forget tonight that uh, he says the thief comet, uh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Who is the thief tonight? That's the uh, devil himself. Uh, yes, he wants to rob you of your true peace and your joy and your happiness and your satisfaction and your prosperity. That's the devil wants to rob you of divine help tonight. I rebuke him in Jesus' name tonight. Yes, my friends, Father God, I pray this night you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint mortal man of clay, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice, anoint my body, my soul, my spirit, my mental faculties, my thought process. Heal me from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. I pray as I minister your words tonight, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Yes, my friends, tonight I want to continue part two of the work of the angel. They are waiting for you and watching since you were born. One angel, single angel angel now if a single angel can kill 
185,000. Yes, my friends, 185,000. Yes, yes, that kind of power is to really wipe out 185,000 soldiers. How much combined strength will they be, my friends, in 12 legions of angels? 72,000 multiplied by 185 tonight, which means that these angels could have taken out at least 13 billion, 13 billion, 320 million. Yes, my friends, the power that's power tonight don't live on the illusion my friends that Jesus Christ was killed or anyone took his life yes my friends Jesus Christ laid down his life yes he laid down his life with all the power at his disposal yes my friends Jesus was in complete control he was in complete control he was not the victim of circumstances he was in complete control yes he managed he managed circumstances for the fulfillment of prophecy. Yes, beloved, John chapter 10, John chapter 10, verse 18 tells us tonight, uh, yes, no man taking it from him or from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. Yes, my friends, this commandment have I received of my Father. Hallelujah. Jesus could have called these angels to the Garden of uh, and uh, Gethsemane, the Roman soldiers, uh, a great multitude had uh, come to arrest him. Yes, my friends, before they even had they known what had happened, beloved, at the at this word, he could have called 72, 72 mighty, mighty and glorious, powerful angels to completely destroy this world and everyone and everything in it. Hallelujah, as we as human species live in this false sense of assurance today that we are in control or that we are at the top of the food food chain yes we really we really and truly are not we are not at the top of the food chain my friends they are spiritual forces much stronger and smarter smarter a lot of more and more powerful than us in this universe 72,000 angels ready to destroy the world at the word of Jesus if he had prayed my friends and do you know the angels are learning and watching us as humans the angels are learning and watching and watching the Bible teaches that the angels are learning and watching how we interact with God so I wonder tonight when Jesus was speaking in Matthew that the reaction of the angel was was when he says think it down think it down I cannot now pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Hallelujah. Praise God. Did they prepare for battle? Yes. Did they draw the souls out? Yes. I wonder. I wonder. One of the greatest misconceptions tonight about angels is that they are omnipotent and omnipotent. Yes. It is very much in every, very way incorrect. Angels do not know all things. Now Neither do they have all power tonight. If angels are all powerful and all knowing, they will not be God's messengers. Beloved, a creature cannot be a potent and wise as a creator today. Therefore, my friends and beloved, it is completely out of point tonight to think that angels are powerful and all knowing according to 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 9 tells us, Paul explained that we are made spectacles of the world and to angels that it is angels and his angels wonder at our relationship with God and also the redemption plan was concealed beloved from their knowledge it was a great mystery to them that God could come in the flesh and save humanity only God is omnipotent are you hearing me and omnipotent angel are not again my friends in the book of Daniel there is the account of angel Gabriel. Gabriel being waylaid by the prince of Persia. Yes, as he struggled with him for 
21 days before angel Michael came to rescue him. Yes, angels are not all all powerful if they are the devil yes and the devil will have been successfully cast out of heaven more so my friends he will have known the end of his rebellion and refrain himself from pride surprisingly my friends to people angels are not omnipotent. yes this is the truth they are do not know all things tonight and certainly mysteries of God are hidden from them even till this moment angels cannot give the perfect description of who God is does not and not that amaze you that these eternal creatures of God God's creation are learning they observe, they observe only God is omnipotent, omnipotent, yes, in the capacity of doctor knowing everything. This is an attribute tonight that belong exclusively to God. Even Satan is not omnipotent, yes, Satan along with all the angels observe, observe and then react. Angels do not know how things will unfold. They typically observe and then react unless the Lord God Almighty sends them on specific missions or warn them in advance about something. They typically observe and react. This is something you need to truly understand today. Beloved, God alone is omnipotent. Yes, the angels did not even truly understand the plan the plan of salvation and redemption yes beloved first peter chapter 1 verse 10 through 12 tells us of which salvation the prophets have been required and such diligently who prophesies of the grace the grace that should come unto you yes my friend searching what of what of what matter of time the spirit of christ which was in them did significant signify when it testifies beforehand the suffering of christ and the glory that should follow unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves my friends but unto us they did minister the things the things which are now reported unto you by them they have preached the gospel unto you with the holy spirit sent down from heaven which thinks the angel desired to look the look beloved into the gift of our salvation by jesus christ is something that even the angels long to look into the angel the angels wish they could understand the grace and mercy and love and faith of our salvation yes beloved and friends we clearly see tonight that god has has his has armies in heaven and the bible also shows a glimpse into the power and glory of god almighty second kings chapter 6 verse 17 and elijah prayed and said lord lord i pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and he saw and behold behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around about the elijah yes my friend psalms 68 verse 17 tells us yes the chariots of god are twenty thousand even thousands of angels beloved the lord is among them among them in sinai in the holy place Yes, beloved Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 22 tells us, uh, But ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God. Yes, the heavenly Jerusalem. Yes, and of an innumerable company of angels. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 5, verse 11 and 1. Behold, beheld, and I heard the voice of of many angels run about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands hallelujah praise God tonight 
Yes, beloved, they have been watching you ever since you were born. Isn't that awesome as Christians? We are all assured of the powerful and ever-present protection of God, holy, holy angels. Angels are spiritual beings. Yes, beloved, who serve as messengers of God and are present in our lives, watching over us, hallelujah, and protecting us. From harm and danger. Psalm 91 verses 1, 11 to 12 tells us, yes, he shall give his angels charge over you. Yes, my friends, keep you in all your ways, have you in all in his hands, and they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone tonight. Yes, Psalms 91 verses 11 to 12 describes tonight one of the most wonderful methods of God's protection and care into his people. Yes, and that method tonight is true. His holy angels commanding them, commanding them to keep and bear up his people. Yes, the angels of God shall have a special and unique task to accompany, define, protect my friends and safeguard and preserve. Hallelujah. Preserve thee against danger and therefore my friends influence of evil spirits cannot prevail yes cannot prevail god only angels are real and they are watching over you and they have been watching over you unfortunately a lot of believers do not believe in the real ministry of angels in their life because they have not had any direct interaction with them however my friends time and time again within the bible we, we see angels intervening in the lives of believers hallelujah you may say to me tonight pastor prophet with all the stuff I've been through, yet it doesn't feel like I have been protected by God and his angels, but I will disagree with you tonight. You are here, you are, aren't you unfortunate? Every time an angel protects us or pulls us out of the fire itself or out of harm's way, out of that tornado, we do don't receive a notification on our mobile phones letting us know we have just been protected so we take God's protection for granted God has a particular care and interest in your life tonight he is not a God who is distant from his creation no my friends he is a God that cares in the same way the angels surround Elijah and his servant and protected them they they are surrounding us and protecting us today. Yes, my friends, because God has given them charge over us to protect us. Yes, when you choose to make him our inhabitation, he changes his angels to watch, he charges angels to watch over us and to surround us with the divine protection. This is just my opinion, but I believe wholeheartedly Christians, Christians will never fully know in his life the complete extent or the number of times weird activity of angels Beloved, who, who are all after generally invisible to human eyes, have protected them and shielded them from adverse situation. Yes, my friends, the rise, the reason being because the bad things that could have happened never ended up happening. We are not even aware that that could happen if an angel did not step in. Yes, my friends, throughout the Bible, throughout the Bible angels have played an important role in the lives of people of faith but angels my friends are not just a thing of the past they are with us today my friends watching over us and protecting us yes there is nothing in scripture that leads us to believe that angels are a reality reality for only people in the bible and the people of the old testament today my 
friends, we we right now in the day we live in we live in the Angels are real. Angels are real. The protection of God, holy angels, is real. This protection can take many forms. Yes, angel may intervene to pre pre prevent accidents or disaster. They may provide strength in times of weaknesses. And they may offer guidance when we are lost or uncertain. Yes, they offer protection to people of God. In different ways that we see in the Bible, yes, angels warning people of impending danger to keep them from harm and destruction. We see in the Bible angels literally protecting people during times of danger. Yes, when God was planning to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, yes, his angels warned a lot of family, lot family of the, of this impending destruction. Yes, my friends, in Genesis, Genesis chapter 19, verse 12 and 13, God Holy Spirit just speak to me and he says, Stop there and inject something. He says Tell the president of America, the president Joe Biden, to reverse the, the same sex marriage, the lesbian and gay marriages, yes, and all the sins that are in America, yes, the killing of babies like Herod. Stop all these reverse, all these laws, and that America turn back to God. And if America turn back to God, God will save America. My friends, this is under the anointing of God. God, the Holy Spirit tonight, if America turn back to God, God will save America from destruction. Listen to the prophet tonight, but if America does not turn back from God within two years, America will be destroyed. Yes, within two years, God says, God will upon America himself. Imagine when Israel was willing, winning all the battles they fought, but when the angels was fighting, one angel killed 185,000 soldiers. Can you imagine if God is fighting for you, you will never lose a battle. But when Israel sin against God, they lose all the battle. And America has turned their backs on God and presumptuously sin and sin against Almighty God. But God have a message for America tonight. If America will turn back to God and repent and turn from their sins, God will save them. Yes, God will save them and they will not be destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, my friends, heed the warning from the prophet. Let me get back to the the word Genesis chapter 19 verse 12 and 13 tells us and then the men said unto Lot have you anyone else here son-in-law your sons or your daughters and whomsoever you have in the city take them out of the place for we will destroy this place because the outcry against them has grown great before the face of Almighty God and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. Hallelujah, praise God. The angels say they came to destroy the city. Then the men said unto Lot, have you anyone else here, son-in-law, your sons or your daughters and whomsoever you have in the city, take them out of this place. Yes, for we will destroy this place because the outcry against them has grown greater before the face of the Lord God Almighty. The Lord has sent us to destroy it. Psalms 91 verses 5 to 8 tells us tonight, beloved, ye shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, yes, nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor of the destruction that blaze waste at noonday, yes, a thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but no evil shall be for, no evil Evil shall come near you with your eyes. You shall look and see the reward of the wicked. Yes, my friends, in another sense tonight, the angel of God warned Joseph, warned Joseph of the evil plan that has been plotted against the baby Jesus. This was during a time when Herod was seeking to have Jesus killed. Matthew chapter 2. 
verses 12 to 14 tells us then being divinely warned in a dream beloved that he should not return to Herod they depart for their own country another way now tonight when they had depart behold behold an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and saying unto him arise arise and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him yes when he rose my friends he took the young child and his mother that by night and depart from Egypt yes beloved God offers this protection to us true angels the weapon formed against us are often waged off by the angel or angels of God. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 tells us, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises up against you in judgment you shall condemn this yes my friends in the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness in this in this is this for me what does Isaiah chapter 54 verse 70 really means it means my friends the Lord will not allow weapons formed against his children to prosper in other words tonight the objective of that weapon being formed against you will not come to fusion yes my friends it will not success succeed in its mission notice that the word of God mentioned the fact tonight that that weapons will be formed in other words you may go through some tests and trials some battles but those battles won't destroy or accomplish the plan of the devil my friends in your life sometimes this means beloved and friends the Lord takes the weapon out of the hand of the enemy into of the children sometimes it is it means that God allows a weapon to strike but brings a greater good out of it than the pain of the immediate blow my friends isn't isn't that amazing tonight that we serve a God we serve a God who is able to turn bad situations into the best things that have been happened to us isn't that amazing tonight that God is a God who can turn bad situations good. Yes, my friends, in good situations greater. This is an attribute tonight about the Lord. We don't speak of, of enough. Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 tells us, But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Yes, in order to bring it about as it is this day is day to serve many people alive hallelujah praise god look at the the the, the, the presidency god did not say my friends no weapon no weapon will be formed fully stop no no god says tonight the weapon will be formed warm arrows will be thrown arrows will be thrown but god assured you and me is that if they will not prosper they will not accomplish the purpose it has been sent to do my friends so don't be afraid tonight the lord is telling you today today that no weapon formed against you shall prosper yes what what are you afraid of my friends no weapon formed against you shall prosper hallelujah what are you scared of tonight praise the lord no weapon form against you shall prosper tonight what are you worried of tonight can you tell me that what are you worried of if you don't know you are serving a god who promises you who promise you i will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 tells us tonight when thou passest through the water i will be with thee when thou passest through the rivers they shall not overflow thee yes when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not 
yes, born, neither, neither shall the flames kindle upon thee. Hallelujah, praise God. God does not leave his children alone, my friends. You don't have to go through life alone when the thunderstorm hits, when the tornado hits. He is with you. His holy angels are with you. Yes, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, that if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. The answer is, my friends, no one. Hallelujah. Even the, the devil, even the devil will not will succeed against not even demons, my friends. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 tells us, What shall we then say to these things if God be for us? Yes, who can? can be against us hallelujah answer this question tonight my friends if god be be before us if god be for us who can be against us tonight my friends answer this question beloved and friends tonight this question if god be for us who or what can be against us is god on your side today Yes, sickness be against you. Yes, can persecution be against you? Yes, my friends, no. Can calamity beings be against you? Yes, no. Can can the enemies destroy your country? No. Can death be against you? No. Yes, my friends, can heartbreak or trauma? Yes, my friends, or suffering be against you? Yes, my friends, no. Tonight, no, no, no. But if you rebel against God, you will be destroyed. When King Dyrus had shown in, that being thrown into the lion's den, yes, he exposed the lions to tear him. Yes, tear Daniel into nothing. Instead, the angel of the Lord came to Daniel. Rescue, my friends. Daniel chapter 6, verse 22 tells us, my God sent this angel and shut the lion's mouth. Yes, so they were not to hurt me because I was found innocent, says Daniel before him. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Daniel was not touched because the angel of God protected him. Hallelujah. Similarly, tonight, my friends, when we are in harm's way, God's always send over his angels of protection to protect us in ways in ways that we cannot even phantom tonight. Sometimes, beloved, we are not even aware of the roles angels play in protecting us, but they always do during during those hours of the night. When we are asleep, when the tornado came, yes, the dangerous Lord in the angels that often watch over us. We also learn about the protection of angels when they, they deliver Peter from prison. Peter was to be brought before trial the following day my friends he was bound with chains and they were guards watching over him the angel of god protected peter from herod by leading him out of prison acts chapter 12 yes verses 7 through 11 behold behold an angel of the lord stood by him and light like a light a stone in the prison and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly, and his chains fell off his hands. Yes, and his angel said to him, Gore yourself and tie on your sandals. And so did he, and he said unto him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him, and he did not know what was done by the angel was real, but true, he was passing in the vision of when they were passing the first and the second guard post. Yes, this uh, he came to the iron gate and lead into the city which opened to them of his own accord, my friends and beloved. They went out and went down one street and immediately the angel departed and, and from him and then Peter had come to himself and says, now I know, now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me, give him a big hand from the, from the hands of Herod and from the expectation of the Jewish 
people, yes, my friends, the angel of God are real tonight, and they have been watching over you since you were born. Hallelujah, my friends, tonight, God is with you and promise to be with you, but never forget the rain fall on the just and the unjust. Yes, just like America, the rain is falling on the just and the unjust. The thunderstorm is coming upon the just and the unjust. The tornado is coming upon the just and on the unjust because of one mistake because the president is flying the face of God and sin presumptuously and bring brought the whole nation into jeopardy against the hands of God with plagues coming against the people with tornado and lightning and flashing and hail and brims fire and brimstone yes my friends and all all these things that is earthquakes and all these things that are coming against that great and mighty country because they have thought this is a good day when they accept it and sign the bill of same sex marriage. My friends, God is speaking tonight to America. Yes, America, wake up. What is coming? God is fighting against America and the enemies, the four combined armies that is coming against America. God's protection is not against America or only America will be safe unless they repent and turn back from God and to avoid destruction tonight. God is speaking to America through the prophet. Be warned tonight. The angels of the Lord can protect you. Yes, the angels of the Lord can protect you. No man is so powerful can, can presumptuously sin against God. Remember who God is. He is almighty with the flick of his finger. He can destroy the most superpower country in the world. Who are man? What is man to fly in the face of God tonight? My friends, listen to the prophet tonight. Yes, let the angels fight your battle. If the angels is not on your side, you are in great danger tonight, my friends. It has been a great joy and privilege to be here this night to minister the word of God. Those who are sick tonight, I pray a short prayer. Those who are sick unto death tonight, you will not die. You will live. God is here people from cancer, from AIDS, from COVID, from diabetes, from heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem. Tonight, my friends, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, tonight is your night for a miracle. If you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, tonight is your night for a miracle. If you have a migraine headache, if you have arthritis pain in your joints, in your fingers, in your arms, your elbows, every part of your joint in your body, God going to heal you tonight. If you have diabetes and you're pining away tonight, God will touch your blood if you're demon possessed tonight god gonna heal you in the mighty name of jesus right now be healed in the name of jesus praise god those who are watching tonight from the usa from the uk from canada from the caribbean every part of the world tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for deliverance tonight is your night for salvation tonight god gonna restore you and set you free turn back to god turn back to god repent and ask for forgiveness repent and god gonna save you and god gonna save your country and god gonna save your nations and god gonna heal your country and god gonna heal your people and individually tonight god gonna heal many tonight in the name of jesus right now are you ready all you need my friends is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed i feel a tremendous anointing of god the holy spirit tonight all you need is little feet as a grain of mustard seed and you shall say to the mountains be thou removed and cast hence foot into the sea and it will obey you tonight my friends right now in the name of jesus as i send forth the anointing be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Beloved and friends, it's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. 
Spirit. Yes, receive your miracle tonight. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you tonight. It has been a great joy and privilege once again. Be love it to be here this Tuesday night uh, to minister the word of God. I love you greatly. Do have a sweet night, Teresa. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. And